All right, how's it going, guys? This is episode three of Cine Scan, and today I have Elephant. Elephant is both written and directed by Gus Van Sant, and can be described by IMDb as several ordinary high schoolers go through their daily routines as two students plan something more malevolent. This film stars Alex Frost, who, if you have seen Drillbit Taylor, he is the main villain, the bully, which is ironic because of the role that he plays in this movie. But to be honest, after watching this movie, I have to say that I was very disappointed and I, I I didn't get what I wanted out of it after I watched the trailer. I thought it was going to be a very good film. I mean, just the way that it was shot, I thought it was going to be like a psychotic thriller type deal and still stem influenced by Columbine, the school shooting that happened a while ago. Yeah, after watching probably 30 minutes into the film, I felt myself getting really disconnected with the movie, disconnected with the characters, and it got to about halfway through until I realized that the film kind of gave you a handful of characters. It tried to split it up and introduce, you know, A, B, and C, and so forth, and it tried to give a little background as into all the views, all the different viewpoints of the actual shooting and the attack that took place. But I feel like they could have gave the actual characters that they tried to introduce more background instead of just looking at their conversations of random things that didn't actually correlate to the plot of the movie, it seemed. I mean, there was a couple bullying scenes, and obviously that plays into why the people the why the two kids do it and blah 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 i mean some of the other scenes just didn't correlate and they re they repeated a few of the scenes which i thought was really cool because three characters cross paths at one point and it would follow one and then it would go back and follow the other and go back and follow the other now that i thought that was a good technique to use and other than that i mean that was the one good thing i picked out of the movie but other than that it was a very slow paced movie and then when the attack happened I thought it would either speed up and be like a montage type thing not obviously not a heavy montage but or slow down and be kind of like a psychotic slow paced I don't know but it didn't do either of them it just kind of kept the same pace of the whole movie just slowly spread out and it was really drawn out I felt like if this movie had been shortened up, this is an hour and a half movie, maybe if they made it like a 45 minute movie, it could have sped things up and made it better, but in my opinion, it's going to have to be a pass. I do not recommend you watching this movie. I feel like there's probably better movies out there in this category that are influenced by Columbine, the shooting, and trying to show what happened and how bullying can entail, I mean, intake, you know, stuff like this, but... That's about it for me. If you think I'm wrong and your opinion is different than mine, leave your comment. I mean, another movie that you can suggest I watch. I have a list, but I'd much rather watch movies that you guys either would like to see or that you've seen and you want me to review and give my opinion on them. But other than that, guys, I will catch you next week.